Hello and welcome to my latest Simpsons video. So this time we're going to be taking a look through my Simpsons books. Now there's some fantastic stuff in here including these brilliant Simpsons collectibles books but there's some early hardbacks, uh, some big like um, how to draw books, all sorts actually in episode guides, a superb selection. I was amazed how much was actually in there so I think you're going to enjoy looking through them as well. So sit back, relax and let's get to it. Okay then, so this was the very, very first Simpsons book that I remember buying, and I bought it in 1990, so it was, well, 31, 31 years ago. I even think, I, you know, I bought this in 1989, but I don't know. It says 1990 inside, but sometimes books would get published a little bit early. Definitely the first printing of this, and this was a, a Simpsons postcard book. Got the familiar sort of Simpsons, uh, although albeit early, Simpsons designs there of the characters. Very much season one and two based. Really cool. And what we're looking at today is basically my Simpsons book collection. They're not really in any sort of order, but I do remember that being the very first bit that I bought. So that's why it's, uh, it's first. So this is um, Nancy Cartwright's autobiography, the voice of Bart, there she is, this is another, this is the British Bloomsbury edition, and this one got published in uh, 2000, so even this is uh, 20 years old. Um, I do remember there were some signed ones of these going around at the time, and I actually, at this time, I was working in the book trade, but just couldn't get hold of them for love and money. Um, a bit of a shame, but as you can imagine, they were in hot demand. Now, this is always a great one. That's a quirky little hardback, Bart Simpson's Guide to Life. Now, I, I remember seeing a post somewhere where this particular book had been translated into, um, well, easily a dozen languages. And um, some guy had, uh, some collector had, had the whole lot. We had a huge collection of this same book in all the different languages. It was absolutely amazing. But this is, uh, once again, setting the tone for what will be the Bongo comics and, and the later books, which are absolutely stacked with detail. And that's why I like these books, is that there's so much to look at. All the little margins down there, you can see their influences from, say, Mad Magazine, um, the artists working on these. It's just fantastic. Helped into print by Matt Groening in... This is the US edition. This is a first edition. Looks like January 93, because that's the lowest sort of dates that are printed on it. Slightly more unusual, this one, which is The Simpsons and Philosophy, The Do of Homer. Um, this is quite highbrow. It's not what you might think. Um, it is looking at philosophy and The Simpsons. Um, these are a bit of fun. These are little hardbacks, and uh, this isn't them all, but this is a fair few of them. Um, these are the sort of little books that you would find in card shops, that sort of thing. Um, so part of the, the Simpsons Library of Wisdom. And uh, this is the Homer one. There's those ones for different characters. $7.99. It's a little look at the Bart one at the back there. And as you can see, this is nothing that we've not seen before. <laughs> the, hair, the Hair Club for Homer. Look at that one with the... Afro on, but they're a lot of fun. And these were like little stocking fillers for the Simpsons person in your life. Ah, the Homer, the car built for Homer. What a great, great car. <laughs> this is 2004. So there's the Homer one. And then they did the Bart one. That's probably the first couple. I was certain there was more. So I've got four. So this is a comic book guys one. This is interesting that the cover is embossed on this one, slightly different to the smooth covers there. Comic book guys, book of pop culture. Ah, uh, look, so I've got a Ralph Wiggum one and there's the Ralph Wiggum one listed there. Hmm, maybe they only did the, did the four then. 
I love anything to do with comic book guy. I think he's brilliant. And there's the Ralph Wickham one. Interesting choice. I wonder why they chose him. Anyway, that does, yeah, that looks like the four, at least that's the four that I've got. So if you know of any more, drop a comment below. Now, the next ones, I think we're gonna need a bit more room. So let me just uh, create a bit of space here. Okay, so this is the start of what will become the uh, episode guide series. And they're absolutely amazing. I have to say, when this first one came out, I was absolutely blown away by the, the level of detail in it, as you can see. So this covers, um, what does this cover? This is the first sort of, I don't know, eight seasons, a couple of hundred pages, maybe not quite that many seasons. But as you can see, it's a fantastic book, full of trivia. You've got the little um, things. So you've got regular stuff that happens. So the Bart thing like, Ralph won't squeeze more off if you squeeze him hard enough. What, um, it's, it'd be like little things that happen in, in the episode, who the guest stars were, the, the overall story, interesting things to look out for, cameos, music, TV and film references, the, the stuff you may have missed. And there's so much in it because there's so many in-jokes. And that's, that's exactly what this one is like. So that was the very first one. And obviously it did very well because, lo and behold, they bring out the next one. So The Simpsons Forever. And this carries on with another couple of seasons worth of uh, Simpsons trivia, exactly the same sort of format that we've seen before. Highly, highly detailed. Great stuff. Yet again, Simpsons Beyond Forever. And now it says seasons 11 and 12. So I think the first book was one to eight. And that was seasons nine and 10. And this is 11, seasons 11 and 12. This one's a bit thicker, a few concept art sketches. Really, really great stuff here. And the last one I've got in this particular format is The Simpsons One Step Beyond Forever, which is seasons 13 and 14. More of the same. So there they are. So that was the initial ones. Now, I'm not sure if you've ever seen this, but there was an anniversary edition published called The Ultimate Simpsons Guide, which is this one. Now, once again, I think I'm gonna to have to alter the camera because this is the biggest Simpsons book I own. So let me just pause there. Well, hopefully I can get it all in. So this is, well, yeah, the ultimate episode guide is what it's called. And it was published in America. It comes in a slip case, as you can see. Now, I picked this one up and I've got another one because they were actually remaindered in Britain and they turned up in, in um, what was the, what was the place called? Um, they're still around today. It's a book remainder chain. I can't for the life of me think of what they were called. Um, but they are still around um, today. And um, they were a tenner, so £10 for this. I don't know, I don't have an idea of what the initial, the actual cost was, but um, because they were so cheap, this was the one that me and my son have um, read through. And I've got a brand new one, which is still sealed, in fact. So this one says the first edition, and this is the guide to the first 20 seasons. Can you believe it? 20 years of The Simpsons. There we are. So they've, they've taken all the original content and I don't know if they did any more of those books, but they put all 20 seasons into here. It's over um, 1100 pages. Absolutely amazing. Well, it even starts with the Simpsons shorts. They were from the uh, Tracy Ullman show and then into the actual seasons. And then you're duplicating the content that we did see in the earlier books um, all the way through. So as you can see, it's exactly like we've just seen, but it is immense. It's got this little yellow bookmark there. If you've never seen this book, well, you can see it's just incredible. It is the single most ultimate 
Simpsons book that was ever published in my eyes that I know about. I don't think it was ever surpassed. And um, as I said, I've got this one, which is like my reader. <laughs> and I do have a, a brand new sealed one still in the, the cellophane because they were knocked out cheap in the uh, in the uh, remainder shops, which was pretty lucky. So evidently, I guess it didn't sell. We didn't sell as many as perhaps they thought. But what a great book this is, isn't it? You know, absolutely incredible. It weighs a ton, and I mean a ton. So I don't know what these go for secondhand, um, but it's probably going to cost, even in the UK, about a tenner to send or eight ninety nine to send. But what a, what an amazing book! Just just incredible. So Simpsons World, one of the greatest ever books published. Now back to another lovely book, and one that I really like, and this one as well. I don't know if this was the first book I ever bought. Um, it was the hardback, 1990. I don't know if this came before the, the postcard book or not, but it's obviously the adaption of the one episode, uh, Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire. It is basically the storybook of the episode. First edition, 1990. And there we are. Lovely little book. Very nice that it's in hardback. Now, say we had a few of these. That's why I've had to do them in a separate video. Um, Simpsons Fun in the Sun book. So we'll just zip through some of these. These are like puzzles and things. Typical for what you would be used to seeing in the other Simpsons books. Great stuff. This one's very similar. It's virtually got the same cover. So it's got the, uh, it has got the Simpsons Fun in the Sun, but on the back, it's also got the Ultra Jumbo Rain or Shine Fun Book. So it is, yes, two books, two books in one. That's the first one that we've seen. And then on this side is the, uh, the Rain or Shine Book. All good stuff. This one's quite, Scarce, I believe. It's cartooning with The Simpsons. This was the first one that took a look at how to draw The Simpsons characters. Obviously, there's a much, much better one, which we'll have a look at in a minute, which got released. But that was the first ever one, which is pretty cool, wasn't it? First edition for 1993 again. Then we got a couple of British annuals. These are pretty, these are just standard bongo reprints. The um, 2011 and 2016, couple that have come my way. Um, I don't mind the British annuals, but they are just bongo comic reprints. Nothing wrong with that. The bongo stuff's great. Um, a typical British annual, really, you know. Okie doke. Now, these are cool. These are Simpsons collector's guides. So I've got three of these. So this is the first one. These are really nice. Um, uh, published by Schieffer. They did loads of collector's books. Um, the good news about these is it's predominantly filled with really early stuff. And there's going to be stuff in here that you've, you've just never seen before. Um, so they come highly recommended. I would imagine you're probably going to need to pay £20 a copy for these. Um, but as I said, it's predominantly early, early stuff. And Schieffer, as a company would produce um, guidebooks or sort of collector's guides for anything, pretty much, you know, they really, really would. So um, that reminds me, I've got to pull the Simpsons records out um, and CDs. See, the Simpsons is just part of my DNA. <laughs> anyway, as I've said in my, my last few videos, um, I am intending to... Uh, sell all my Simpsons or start selling it this year. It's probably going to take me the best part of a, a year to get rid of it all. There's just so much of it. Um, and if you've not already, just drop me a line. If anything in particular you'd like yourself, make me a good offer and um, and you can have it. I've got so much to get rid of. It's just, you know, I'd rather get rid of as, as much as I could before having to uh, list it all on eBay. So that's the first one. A really, really great book, that one. And then this was the uh, the follow up, further adventures in Simpsons collecting. Got that lovely Dracula, Mister Burns, which I think I've 
shown on here, but if not, I do have one of those. And this is just more of the same. It's just fantastic stuff here, you know. Really, really comprehensive. A book to be savoured for sure. Um, but yeah, expect to pay at least £20 for this, maybe a bit more. Because they're, they're pretty scarce. They weren't that easy to get at the time. And I remember struggling, and I worked in the sort of the collectibles business. I could get these books in brand new. And we struggled to get them imported. Uh, there's those... Um, Hanging out with the Simpsons. At least there was one hanging out with the Simpsons figure, wasn't it? Yeah, look at that. So they were UK ones. Bartman. And there's another one there. So there's at least three or four of those, isn't there? Are those uh, hanging out with the Simpsons figures? There's only two pictured there, but I think I've got four of them. And I think I've got a double of Bartman, which is pretty cool, isn't it? Um, this is a... A bit of a substandard Simpsons collectibles book, Collecting Simpsons, an official guide, William D. LaRue. This wasn't quite as nicely put together because it's black and white, but still a lot in here, as you can see. So not to be dismissed by Simpsons collectors. Yeah, not so good that one but still of interest. This is probably the first ever um, look at Simpsons me uh, memorabilia, the consumer guide, Simpsons mania. Um, I think this was pretty early on as well. I think we're talking like 89, 90 again for this one. Looking at the very earliest days of Simpsons memorabilia and the show in general. Quite scarce that. It says 1990. Then a few more books. So let's zoom through these because we've got a few, still got five or six books to go through. So we've got the, the Holiday Humdinger. And I believe a lot of this is content that's been pulled from the Bongo comics again and themed. So this is like Christmas related stories. But they did a really, really good job of these. I like to see them large size, sort of magazine size. And there's so much in these <clears throat> Simpsons comics that they do warrant the extra size I feel this is a Treehouse of Horror a fun filled fright fest <clears throat> lovely uh, cover on these some of the Treehouse of Horror specials from Bonga which they did a few I said we'll show all the comics in a video or two more Treehouse of Horror so I estimate now I've got three, maybe four more videos to do. And then The Simpsons is all, we've, we've covered everything, the entire collection. Now, just in the vague chance that there may be someone out there who wants to just buy the lot, if I was to receive a decent enough offer, I would uh, potentially sell the whole lot, everything that you've seen on all The Simpsons videos and Futurama, uh, to the one person. And um, it would be more than a van load, I'm afraid. That's those. What's this? Are we there yet? The Simpsons Guide to Springfield. This is another fairly early book, I believe. And it was part of the uh, HarperCollins Are We There Yet series. Pretty cool. A couple more. So we got the Uncensored family album absolutely brilliant stuff this big thick book uh sorry big wide book not a thick book so it's quite difficult to show you but as you can see it's done like an old style photo album really really nice and the last book we've got today is the simpsons handbook so this is this is the proper drawing how to draw the simpsons it's really, really, this is fantastic, this one. Absolutely beautiful book. Lots of fold outs and stuff. I mean, really, you could go to town on this. So highly, highly recommended if you've ever fancied doodling some of your favourite Simpsons characters. And who hasn't? I've certainly drawn a few. <laughs> Absolutely amazing, amazing stuff. 
So there you go. I hope you enjoyed looking through my Simpsons book collection. Certainly some interesting books in there and a few that I think are actually quite scarce. If you have enjoyed today's video, do please hit that thumbs up button. Do please consider subscribing for regular Simpsons videos going forward. I've still got, I reckon, another three or four videos still to finish off showing the rest of my collection. And I shall look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.